Welcome to Seattle University. We can't wait to show you around our beautiful eco-friendly campus located in the heart of the Emerald City. Home to 7,500 students across eight undergraduate and graduate schools and colleges, Seattle University is a Jesuit Catholic institution known for attracting adventurous and engaged students who strive to make a difference in their communities and in the world. This aerial tour will allow us to give you a bird's eye view of our campus, but also give you a sense of the surrounding area as well. You will be able to see our awesome neighborhoods where our off-campus student life opportunities thrive and some of the cool professional development opportunities that you can take part in with companies such as Amazon, Microsoft, Zillow, and Starbucks located right in our backyard. We want to show you the neighborhoods that surround our campus and the different pockets of culture that lie in each. To the east, you have the recently designated Central Area Arts and Cultural District, a diverse cultural hub with a rich history. The Northwest African American Museum explores the history, culture, and art of African Americans in the Pacific Northwest. Central Area art institutions celebrate educator Thelma DeWitty, poet Langston Hughes, painter Jacob Lawrence, sculptor James Washington, and playwright August Wilson. Cultural events include the Umoja Fest and Earshot Jazz Festival that celebrate African American history, music, film, dance, and theater. The center of Seattle's LGBTQ community, the Capitol Hill neighborhood offers endless entertainment morning till night. Arguably the hippest neighborhood in Seattle, it's the epicenter of coffee culture, clubs, and the site of some of Seattle's biggest events like Block Party and the Pride Parade. Volunteer Park, atop the hill in a historic mansion district, has walking trails, a plant conservatory, panoramic city views, and the Art Deco Asian Art Museum. If you look to the north of downtown, you'll see South Lake Union, which has been growing rapidly over the past few years. This is one of the hubs of Seattle Tech, home to Amazon's global headquarters, Google Cloud, and Facebook. At Seattle University, we want to make sure students are having the opportunity to apply their knowledge in the classroom in other settings. The internships available to students span a variety of different industries across the city. Healthcare at Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center, Swedish Medical Center, or Seattle Cancer Care Alliance. Nonprofits such as the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation or Mary's Place. And tech at Amazon, Zillow, Facebook, Google, Microsoft, T-Mobile, or Nintendo. Our location offers an amazing place for students to really connect with their goals and growth opportunities. Our career engagement office on campus helps students secure and find internships and job opportunities that fit their interests and skill set. Through career coaching appointments and workshops, students can narrow down their professional goals. To the south of us, you have the International District, a cultural hub of the Asian American community. Historically, it's the only area of the continental United States where several cultures, Chinese, Japanese, Filipinos, African Americans, and Vietnamese, settled together and built one neighborhood. The Wing Luke Museum of the Asian Pacific American Experience commemorates Asian Pacific American culture. It represents the voice, stories, spirit, and heritage of the community. Hing Hae Park is a hub for festivals and celebrations like the Lunar New Year, Dragon Festival, and the Vibrant Night Market. North Campus is home to two housing options for undergraduate students. The first is Xavier Hall, which can house up to 180 residents. This building is also home to the Modern Languages and Literature Departments. Next is Vi Hilbert Hall, the university's newest housing option for third and fourth year students. The residential space is named in honor of Vi Hilbert, who devoted much of her life to keeping the Northwest Native tribe of Lachutzi's culture, language, and stories alive. Her passion for sharing knowledge within an environment of constant cultural evolution forged a legacy for what she called the first people of this land. Vi Hilbert Hall is also home to enrollment services, including the Registrar, Student Financial Services, and Undergraduate and Graduate Admissions. Next is Hunthausen Hall, home to the Theology and Ministry Departments. The Fine Arts Building houses various arts programs. The Union Green offers an awesome space for students to relax and study in the spring and summer months. It's surrounded by trees and plants that are reflective of the university's pesticide-free campus. It speaks to Seattle U's overall emphasis on sustainability, from a ban on plastic bottled water to a commitment to fully divest from fossil fuels by 2023. The Chapel of St. Ignatius was designed by famed architect Stephen Hall and brings together the Seattle U campus and members of the community for mass and spiritual gatherings. The design of the chapel was built with a guiding concept in mind, a gathering of different lights. It's in recognition of the university's Jesuit ethos of inclusion and curiosity, and throughout the day, the chapel's soft interior light changes with the sun, creating a magical, peaceful environment. An exterior reflection pool and green space offer additional areas for reflection and discernment. As a Jesuit Catholic university, Seattle U's tradition in the Jesuit faith is deeply rooted and provides an education that challenges students to think clearly and for themselves and to test commonly accepted knowledge. 
Part of how we incorporate this into our curriculum is through the core curriculum. These classes are required as part of your four years at Seattle University and span a range of topics and disciplines. There are courses available in the humanities, social sciences, laboratory sciences, arts, religion, and much more. We want our students to receive a well-rounded, meaningful education that allows them to build perspective, but more importantly, equips them with the knowledge that is applicable to their lives and beyond. Piggott is home to the Albers School of Business and Economics, along with classroom and computer spaces and faculty offices. Additionally, the Bottom Line Cafe is in the Piggott Atrium, a space where students can grab a coffee or lunch before class. Piggott is also home to a Chendo, a vibrantly beautiful red and orange Dale Chihuly sculpture that looks over the atrium. The Quad brings together students and the campus as a central gathering spot, home to the Centennial Fountain and the Spring Music and Arts Festival Quadstock. The fountain was designed by George Sudakawa and provides a very calm atmosphere for anyone looking for a nice, relaxing outdoor study or hangout spot on a sunny day. The Quad is also flanked by our four main academic buildings. The first is Bannon, which houses the College of Science and Engineering and multiple classroom and lab spaces, along with an auditorium. Next is Casey, which houses the College of Arts and Sciences, including the Matteo Ricci Institute. Then there's Garand, which is the oldest building on campus and the original home to Seattle College, the origins of Seattle U. This building is home to the College of Nursing. The fourth building is Piggott, home to the Albers School of Business and Economics. The Lemieux Library and McGoldrick Learning Commons are central to your academic experience. In addition to library resources, you will find the Writing Center, the Math Lab, Research Services, and Learning Assistants. There is also ample study space for students to hunker down, as well as a multitude of computers. The library consists of six floors, including silent study spaces. The Bike Cafe, also located in the Library and Learning Commons, is for students who want some sustenance between study sessions. The Student Center is our main hub for student-centered activities, eating options, and more. In the Student Center, you'll find Cherry Street Market, the university's main dining hall that features flavorful, delicious dishes with ingredients that are grown locally and raised humanely. There's also the Hawk's Nest Bistro, which offers smoothies, pizza, desserts, and more. The Student Center is also home to campus ministry, student government, and the Office of Multicultural Affairs. The Center for Science and Innovation is Seattle University's new home of STEM education and more that will open in fall of 2021. The center will house science and engineering programs such as biology, chemistry, and computer science. There will also be top-of-the-line labs and maker spaces. The building will also be home to a new cafe, the Center for Community Engagement, and the student-run radio station, KXSU. The building will be accompanied with a new courtyard in the front to facilitate a gathering spot and more communal spaces for the campus community. On campus, Seattle University Park provides a space for intramural and club sports activities, and nighttime lighting means flag football enthusiasts can play late into the evening. Just south of SU Park is Logan Field, home of our women's softball team who has consistently ranked at the top of the Western Athletic Conference. As we head east of Logan Field, you'll see Championship Field, home to our men's and women's soccer teams, frequent WAC champions that regularly advance to postseason tournament play. Be sure to attend a game with friends on campus and show your Red Hawk pride. Our student-led spirit organization, Red Zone, provides an upbeat, passionate, and unified atmosphere at these and other athletic events, including pep rallies, before basketball games, and homecoming festivities. Just to the north of Championship Field, we have our tennis courts, where our men's and women's tennis teams practice and compete. Seattle U is home to 20 Division I sports and is a member of the Western Athletic Conference. The Red Hawks have claimed 54 team and individual conference titles since 2008, when we rejoined Division I athletics. Now let's head across the street. A Seattle University education aims to develop the whole person. The Red Hawk Center and Eiseminger Fitness Center, with its state-of-the-art fitness equipment and gym space, provide students ample space for physical, emotional, and social enrichment and wellness. Newly renovated in 2015, the Red Hawk Center features three NCAA regulation-sized basketball courts, a multi-purpose indoor turf gym, two pools, and two racquetball courts. The Red Hawk Center connects to the Eiseminger Fitness Center, and combined, the buildings offer over 180,000 square feet of dedicated recreational space. The Eisenminger Fitness Center boasts group fitness studios and two floors of strength training and cardio equipment. Fitness classes offered in the fitness center, free for SU Redhawks, include power yoga, cycling, strength and conditioning, cardio dance, Pilates, and more. And don't forget to stop by the outdoor program office to check out their quarterly outings and equipment rentals. With the great outdoors practically in our backyard, SU students take advantage of all that the Pacific Northwest region has to offer. 
For off-campus adventures, the University Recreation Outdoor Program offers access to hiking, biking, camping, rock climbing, skiing, snowboarding, and more throughout the year. As a Seattle University student, you can go from contemporary urbanite to mountaineer all in the same day. Thanks for watching. We hope you got a chance to learn more about our campus and the neighborhoods around us. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact the Office of Undergraduate Admissions. Email us at admissions at seattleu.edu or call 206-220-8040.